Are the men happier single? So I don't know if you all are paying attention to the current events, if you will, as far as dating is concerned, but I'm starting to notice a lot more men being a lot more bold and a lot more vocal in their peace and happiness and freedom of being alone. And for me, it's very, very bittersweet because I am somebody that is a strong advocate for togetherness between men and women, you know, having healthy, strong, balanced relationships, building families. Like I am all for that. Okay. I am a sucker for love, especially as a happily married with myself. I would love for more people to be able to experience the bliss of having somebody in your life that you can see forever with. Okay. And so it's bitter for me in that way, because like I said, as a happily married woman myself, I do want um, to share um, that feeling and that experience with other people. However, and this is where I got to be honest, okay? However, if men are not going to be met with the amount of love and support and um, reciprocity and appreciation that they deserve and that they need, well, I'm not going to feel bad about a man saying, you know what? I am going to take my power and my peace back by embracing this new, I guess, way of life. You know, if I have to really engulf myself in the whole single man lifestyle in order to find my peace, in order to be happy and everything of that sort, then I'm going to do that. And I, you know, as a woman even have to salute that, you know, um, I got to be honest and y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I appreciate y'all so very much for being here, but we got to get into it. Okay. I have to be honest enough to admit that there are a lot, not all, not all, not all, but there are a lot of women out there that only see men as a tool to use at their own discretion for their own disposal. They do not see the value of men outside of being ATMs and yeah. So with that being in mind, I cannot entirely fault these men for saying, you know what? I don't desire relationships. I don't desire marriage. I don't desire to waste my time on women and everything of that sort. Let me just focus on me. Let me pamper myself. I cannot, you know, let's be clear. You all, let's be honest. Even when it comes to marriage, oftentimes the women only want to be married for, um, the lifestyle that the man can give to her, the wedding day, the big pretty ring, you know, it's all about her feeling her best self. And it's all about her reaping all of the benefits and rewards of being married. But hardly ever do we think about how we are supposed to feel our duties and our responsibilities and our roles as wives. You never go into talking about, oh, well, this is the type of submissive wife that my husband gets, or this is the type of respect and love and appreciation that my husband gets. Everything really does boil back down to how am I able to have leverage? How am I able to have control? How am I able to get over and if all this fails and I find myself being bored or whatever the case may be, hey, I'll just divorce him. I'll just leave him. 
You know, the moment that he's no longer being my lap dog or giving me whatever I want, I'll just leave him. That is how we treat relationships and especially marriage today. And so just being completely transparent, I can't fault entirely these men or at all for that matter for saying, you know what, I'll just live the single life. And what's really heartbreaking to watch is the fact that I know a lot of these guys are, who are embracing this new lifestyle, they were the guys who wanted to be married. They are the guys who wanted families. They are the guys that wanted a wife. Like they wanted the whole shebang as far as love was concerned. But hey, the climate is what the climate is. And it's very unfortunate that they have reached the conclusion of it's not worth it. The juice is not worth the squeeze. And what also breaks my heart is that so many other beautiful, deserving women out there will also miss out on their Prince Charmings, all due to the fact that so many other women out there were trash. But I do want to share my screen with you all and show you this compilation that I put together myself that really blew my mind like I, I could not believe the amount of men out here that were again embracing just being alone being by themselves and they seem to be enjoying it you know that's the that's the most eye-opening mind-blowing part about it all these men are actually enjoying being alone being by themselves you know um doing the same activities that they would enjoy with a woman. I mean, they're comfortably out loud doing it by themselves. And before I even played this video, you all, of this comp compilation, I would love for a lot of the guys in the chat right now, because I know y'all in the building, and again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I would love for a lot of the guys in the building right now to put a two in the chat if you yourself are a guy that is embracing, you know, single manhood and, you know, doing things by yourself and you're happy with it, like, let me know, put a two in the chat. If you are the guy that is quote unquote, living his best life by himself, AKA dating himself, loving on himself, celebrating himself. Y'all let me know, put a two if you are that guy. Um, and then if you're not that guy and it's like, no, nah, um, I'm still looking for my woman and all of that to enjoy my life with, you know, then just go ahead and put that one. But if you are falling under the category of a man embracing the single life, all right, again, you're loving on yourself. You celebrating yourself. You doing a lot of activities by yourself and you're happy with it. You fine with it. Put that too in the chat. Okay. Now, I'm going to throw a doozy in there, and I hope that I see a lot of threes when I say this, okay? I hope, because again, y'all, I am a hopeless, romantic, and lover girl, okay? Put a three in the chat, though, y'all. If maybe you are a guy that is embracing the single life, but you're still in search for your wife or your woman, let me know. Now, I know what I told y'all, you know, as far as me pretty much never promoting marriage anymore, even as a happily married woman myself, because just from what I can see out here in these streets, it's looking like a lost cause. I know I said that. However, y'all, there's always exceptions. Even if that exception is very small, I'm still kind of holding on to it. Okay. I, I really am. I really am. But anyway, let's get into this, you all. And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And yeah. Now, a lot of these clips that I'm getting ready to share with you all, they had music playing. So I did take it upon myself to mute all of that um, so that we can just pay attention to you know, what we're seeing and what we're reading. Okay. So let's get into this. Now, this one says the new normal 
men out eating alone and women in groups. Let's take a look. As you all can see, it is a group of women sitting together, you know, having to socialize in order to feel good about themselves, right? While the man is over in this corner enjoying his food by himself. He does not need a whole group of people to distract him. Like, he's fine. And to me, and I'm just being honest, y'all. Y'all know your little business got to be honest with you, okay? Hold on, let's switch that about, around. I got to be honest with y'all. To me, this really illustrates just how much men, and I, when I say this, I do not mean to ruffle feathers or anything of that sort. I'm just being honest, okay? To me, this really showcases just how much men will thrive and survive by themselves. Whereas women, we need other people around us to make us feel whole, to make us feel, you know, like we're complete, to make us feel good and not alone, right? This is why I'm always going to say that as women, we need men, okay? It is in our nature, to have a community, to have family, to have stability and security. We get that by way of men, people being around us, right? And so when we don't have that, we try our best to fill that void with distractions, i.e. partying every day, you know, maybe drinking every day, hanging out every day. Like we're always needing some kind of distraction to fill the void of needing a man whereas these men i mean look at him he's fine by himself he doesn't need a group and like i said you all this really highlights the difference between men and women men can absolutely do it alone they just didn't want to let's keep that game y'all they just didn't want to. The men wanted families. They wanted love. They wanted a woman. Did they need it? No. And we can see that. Us, on the other hand, yes, we want it and we need it. Now, y'all can do y'all best to try to distract yourselves from um, accepting the fact that you want and need it. But at the end of the day, it remains the same. These men are fine. <laughs> Again, this is their new normal. Being alone. Going out to eat alone. <laughs> Dating themselves. This is wild. Let's continue. Because there is more. Now, this one here says... Where are all of the good men? The age old question by every woman in the world. More specifically, every no good woman in the world. He is taking upon himself to let y'all know exactly where all the good single men are. Let's take a look. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And fellas, let me know, can y'all relate? It says all the good men are focusing on themselves. Very interesting. Okay, working out. Okay. Focusing on their mental, their happiness, their peace, and their health. Hmm. Is that so? Reading books, eating fruit. Okay, enjoying wine and stuff. It says, until a woman brings value and not just sex and wanting her bills paid. Whoopsie. What? This brother here says, while y'all are out here asking, you know, where are all the good men at? Let me show you exactly 
where we are and what we are partaking in. Mm -hmm. We are sipping our wine, <laughs> relaxing. We are going to the gym, working out, eating healthy. You know, we're, we're taking action as far as making sure that we are overall healthy, at peace and good until what does it say y'all let's blow it up until a woman brings value and not just sex and wanting her bills paid now this unfortunately you all is something that a lot of the men have been running into which is why they are embracing singlehood if i have to be alone to protect myself from gold diggers, to protect myself from selfish women, you know, women that cannot offer me anything of real value outside of the box. And I, I mean that both figuratively and literally. Y'all don't know how to go outside of the box. A lot of y'all are basic, typical. And that box too. That's all y'all have to offer. And I don't know if y'all got the news flash, okay? But a lot of the men, let's just say they're not moved by the box anymore. You know, that's not something that they're chasing. That's not something that is enticing them or making them do anything. Like, no, they need better. They need more. Because a lot of the guys have realized and recognized their value and what they offer and what they can bring. And so if I'm able to give you peace, you know, a, a life of leisure and all of that, then yeah, I'm going to need way more than sex and you demanding your bills to be paid. Are you a submissive woman? Are you a caring woman? Are you a nurturing woman? You know, are you a selfless woman? Are you fit, feminine, and friendly? All of these different things matter to these men, especially if they're going to be expected to go above and beyond for a woman. So until you can bring them more than pussy, problems, and headaches, yeah, you can stay over there. <laughs> Let's continue. And again, y'all like the video. Look, are they happy? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this one says, life as a single man. All right. Making his own food, doing his own laundry. Okay. Uh, cleaning in the kitchen, singing on the broomstick. What? It says being single can be fun sometimes. That's his caption. Look at what he doing. He chilling. Look, y'all. Now, this clip right here really shows just how much these men can thrive and survive on their own. You know, it also sh showcases that a lot of the standards and the qualities that they were wanting the women to bring to the table were very basic things that they can do themselves, i.e. cook, wash, clean, you know? Like, these single men, they're doing it all on their own, you know? And so, yes, they're looking for women that can add on value to their lives in bigger and better ways outside of the ways that can, quote, unquote, be outsourced but yeah these men living their best life <laughs> this is crazy ladies is it just me or does it look like the men are cooking better than y'all <laughs> i mean a lot of y'all don't cook a lot of y'all can't cook but these men are doing it all for themselves, by themselves, and it's looking like they're doing a damn good job at it. But let's continue. And y'all like the video. 
Now, this guy says solo date. So he's taking himself out on a solo date. <laughs> Very interesting. Fellas, y'all let me know. How many of y'all cook for y'all selves? How many of y'all um, take yourselves out on solo dates? Y'all let me know. Okay, y'all let me know. If you cook for yourself and if you take yourself out on solo dates, fellas, put a four in the chat right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to see something. I'm just trying to see something. But let's continue. He says he's going out on a solo date. Let's blow this up so y'all can see. Okay. Okay. Nice little whip. Okay. All right. Oh, got a ticket. Where is he going? Okay. Got a little selfie. Oh, lounging. Went to the movies, I see. Okay. Okay. So he got his little drip going. He in a nice little whip and he takes himself to the movies and he, he kicks it. Okay. He kicks his feet up, living his best life. The men, they're happy without you. They're happy without you. And, and this is very, very dangerous. Okay. Having these men be able to kick their feet up like this without y'all ladies, this is dangerous work. Because the more comfortable and relaxed that these men get with being alone, the worse off you're going to be. What did we say earlier? Earlier we said, look, when it comes to women, our nature is designed to have companionship, have support, have love. This is why we need a whole group of friends in order to hang out with every day and, and, and do normal basic activities with men they they can do it by themselves and be perfectly content so <laughs> i'm gonna need us to clean this stuff up do better um evolve mature uh, and grow and start to appreciate and reciprocate these men for what they offer to us, what they do for us, what they contribute into our lives so that they can find it necessary, okay? Or at least something that's feasible for them to do. I don't know. As far as adding us into their equation because they can subtract us and it's looking like it's adding on to their lives in a positive way. So let's clean it up so, you know, the men can find interest in us again value in us again i don't know this is a mess but y'all like the video share the video and subscribe i look forward to seeing what you gotta say about this in the comments uh again fellas y'all let me know where y'all fall in the mix on this okay are you the single guy that is okay with being alone and you're dating yourself and you're loving yourself and you catering to yourself and you're good with that or are you the single guy that is pampering yourself and everything, but you're still in search for your woman? You know, let me know. All right. Let me know. But again, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I look forward to reading y'all's comments and I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads. <laughs>